Watch. Yeah, today we're talking about Black Roses. Black Roses. Yes, late 80s horror film brought to us by John Fasano with the writer Cindy uh, Serial. Uh, I mispronounced it. I apologize. You know how I am with names. Anyway, we get the rocking band of Black Roses, which is actually a demonic band which uses its music to hypnotize its audience and cause them to go in fits of rage and do mean and nasty things to people they love. And so when Black Roses comes to this small town to kick off their tour, they <laughs> infect the youth of the town and we see how one teacher tries to stand up and protect the town from the evil of rock and roll and the rock and roll band. Oh, folks, this is so much fun, Black Roses. Oh, this is brought to us by John uh, Fasano, who brought us Rock and Roll Nightmare. Now, uh... <laughs> And if you haven't seen that, you should see that one, too. Uh, it, this is just a fun 80s horror film all the way around. I mean, all the performance and actors uh, in here, uh, you know, they're just... <laughs> I don't know, they're having fun. There's some great performances in here, but what really stands out is just the 80s feel to this. There's some films that age well. This one, not so much, but if you grew up in the 80s, it's definitely one that you'll enjoy, especially the music, the rock and hair band music that's in here. Now, uh, the guy who plays the lead singer, Damien Sal uh, Viviano, is actually a singer, okay? So the band actually performed their songs, and they even recorded some tracks for the soundtrack in this but you also get some cheesy uh, uh monsters in here as well and monster effects all practical of, of course which is always refreshing to see i i watch any cheesy 80s film for practical effects more so than a modern film with all kinds of cgi blood it just adds so much to another element and there's some just great monster and puppet effects in here that really are well done for the budget that this film had uh it's just entertaining and, and very not realistic looking, but still some great makeup effects in here, especially for the demonic band uh, that plays this music. Now, uh, there's not a whole, you know, it, it's your typical 80s slasher film, though, so, you know, you're not going to get a whole lot of depth of character, but you will get blood, babes, and body count, and that you get in abundance here. And it, it's, it was topical, you see, because in the 80s, uh, not so much now, but definitely in the 80s, you got a whole movement against rock and roll and how rock and roll was evil. And this film played off of those themes that were going on in the news and in the culture and stuff that bands were facing of of this you know oh if you listen to this music you're going to be a servant of satan and they play off of that and that's what they bring in black roses i mean from the fantastic wardrobe to the makeup effects to the monsters in here to the deaths that they have in here which you do get gore in here gore horse so you should check it out gratuitous nudity all around you've got all the elements from your 80s slasher films in this film and it's definitely has to be on a must watch list for any fans of that genre i really enjoyed black roses it was very fun and entertaining and really took me back to the 80s which if you grew up during that decade this film is for you folks out there and those who didn't but uh enjoy the genre or are curious about it check out black roses and also check out a uh, rock and roll nightmare two great rock and roll horror films that definitely should be on every horror fans list and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep that ticket stuff